Hey, what's up? This is Gavin Jones here from drunkdevs.com, and today we're going to do a little post-mortem for our recently released game, Destroy the Porn. Now, this was a really fun project, and we're going to do the post-mortem. Uh, the the post-mortem is just going to be like a, a quick list. Uh, it's a short game, so like three things that went right and three things that went wrong. And yeah, let's dive right in. First thing that went right, the game was completed quickly. Uh, I wanted this to be like a short little project. It was originally intended for one game a month. That didn't pan out. I couldn't quite make it uh, quickly enough, but it came out a lot faster than the last game, and it just it went very fast, and it was very fun because of that. Number two, people got into it. I oh, loved it. I, I sent out the game. I, I saw the comments. People got what I was going for. It was just supposed to be a fun little romp through hell, you know, get power-ups, defeat a boss, destroy the porn, you know, goofy story. People got it. And I love that. And I, I love everyone that's playing it and just enjoying that. Oh, it just makes me so happy that I did it right. And it, it shows me as a developer um, that I'm getting better at it. Because I, I don't feel like I'm quite there yet, but I feel like I, I feel like with this title I got better at it. And I just want to keep getting better at making this game kind of just an all-around uh, fun experience, but I'm glad that people are willing to get into it, and I'm, I'm glad people are enjoying it. Number three, this game was fun to make, and th this, is, this is my biggest thing, this is what I think is the biggest thing that I love about this game, is that it was just so incredibly fun to make. I mean, it, it took two weeks, it took about two weeks, and just the whole thing, the whole development process was so fast paced. I just went through, got the campaign, swept in, put some art in, had, had a buddy from high school uh, whip up some music for me and just the whole thing just sort of happened so fast, just sort of flowed out. I didn't really have uh, time to, to dredge on and for it to just become this big project that consumed my life. It was just something fun that I did. And, and I would love for games uh, that, that I make in the future to just be that that fun process of developing that. And let's dive really quick into what went wrong with the game. So the, the first thing, and this is probably the biggest thing that I don't like about the game, is that I didn't give each item enough time in the spotlight. But for example, like the blaster, right? You, you get the shotgun, uh, you have those walls, right? And there's that one part where you shoot the wall and you, you run across it before it it's destroyed. And that, I feel like that was kind of a clever mechanic and I feel like there's more that could have been done with it, but it wasn't really done. And I, part of this was trying to keep it, you know, quick and fast paced and 10 minutes long. Uh, but there should have been more with that, and especially items like uh, the, the booster, like the, the infinite booster. Uh, I just ramped the difficulty right from nothing to a giant room of spikes that you have to navigate uh, very gently. And I still have trouble navigating that room. If the developer has trouble doing something in game, that's usually a bad sign. Um, and, and I should have worked harder on that. Moving on. the boss battle was a little bit too slow paced. I got a, a couple complaints about that. Um, just really for that one hit kill, like the moment you come back it should go right back into attacking you. It should just be go, go uh, really fast with that. So I should have made him just a little more fast paced, a little more intense. I think that would have been uh, a lot better. Number three, I, I just didn't test it enough. Um, there were some weird bugs, people were seeing flashes of the main menu when they would die, or uh, change rooms. I don't know what's causing that, I, I want to say it's like a memory card thing, uh, or something to do with Game Maker, but it, it's... I have absolutely no idea. Um, we also have problems with uh, saving systems, so I should have just done more testing uh, before I released. Um, and I'm definitely going to do that next time. Also, I should have, like, I started a devlog on uh, tick source and I should have just documented more stuff because it, it was just so much fun making all this I really should have put out more that's gonna be all for this week's drunk dev postmortem uh, leave a comment like us on Facebook subscribe to us on Twitter and YouTube and hopefully we see you soon thanks